Hey everybody, welcome to another episode on the AI Guide. My name is David. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, click the links below the video. The first link is my book on Amazon, The Beginner's Guide to AI, A Short History, and then Current Impact of AI on 10 Different Industries. It's a very quick read, two to three hours for the whole book. So you can learn a lot in a short period of time, and that was the whole intention. And then the second link, a free resource to learn more about AI than you can learn in these short videos. And that resource is free. Everything in the resource is free. And our goal here is making AI human, which means preparing you for a highly automated future and helping you choose and move towards a job less likely to be automated during your current working lifetime. So thanks so much for tuning in and let's get into it. So there was an update on automation by a group that tracks a bunch of different technologies called ID Tech X. And these guys are really have their pulse, uh, have their finger on the pulse of the markets for a bunch of different stuff, but one of them is robotics. And they recently released an update that says, you know, the current economy, there's high inflation right now in 2022. Uh, there's been massive supply chain disruptions due to COVID, which are starting to ease. And uh, there's also been a lot of help, uh, difficulty getting help particularly in manufacturing, but also in retail and other industries as well. So that brings us to automation. Uh, ID Tech X says, uh, unit sales of industrial robots accelerated quickly from 2003 to 2007 after the dot-com bust, which was before most of your time. <laughs> A similar trend also happened after the 2008 to 2009 financial crisis. With all the current uncertainties such as U.S.-China conflict, supply chain disruptions, and potential recession and high inflation, ID Tech X believes that post-crisis industrial robots and manufacturing automation will likely gain more momentum after 2023. So what they're saying here is they believe that 2022 and 2023 are sort of a challenging period for spending money on these technologies, automation, robotics, but that it's going to take off again after 2023, just as it did after these other crises abated. So it did not take off during the crisis. It took off after the crisis. And whether we're in a recession or not right now is highly debatable. Uh, my personal opinion is we are not, but um, w uh, the proof will be in the pudding as time goes on. So uh, on the supply side, COVID has significantly limited the accessibility to factory workers. Uh, many medium and small size industries have a labor shortage. I can personally attest to that. Uh, at my last two companies, the current company, and uh, my prior company, we have had ongoing labor shortages, uh, particularly in the manufacturing group. Uh, the current company I'm with is heavily R&D, but also has some manufacturing. So it says, uh, you know, there's been other issues that have, that have made this later labor shortage worse, travel restrictions, uh, border closings, etc. Customers are looking for more unique selling points and differentiation from the products. So people now, when they buy something, don't want same old, same old. They want something unique uh, that stands out. Many companies, particularly small and mid-sized businesses, have started to adopt automation to mitigate this issue. So it's more difficult to make unique things, right, because you're your production runs are smaller than very long runs for, ver for a generic product that's the same uh, without any differentiation. 3D printing helps enable this kind of specialized 
manufacturing, but 3D printing will rely on cobots, uh, robots working with humans, and artificial intelligence. Um, sorry, the air is really dry now in the winter. Uh, so uh, this means that companies need more and more automation, small and mid-sized businesses. I can tell you also from personal expense experience because I'm responsible for capital purchases at my last many companies uh, that robotics, a robot to help feed a machine five years ago was about $100,000. That same exact robot is now available for $23,000. That means that that robot is now cheaper than hiring a human being. What do you think that's going to do to factories? We know what it's going to do. Uh, ID TechX believes the pandemic experience will accelerate automation across different sectors of our economy. So uh, automation lowers the risk of infection. There's also disinfection robots that are all over airports and other public spaces now. Uh, drones and autonomous mobile robots are being used to distribute goods and services. And by the way, next Saturday, special live on Saturday that will last probably an hour uh, to talk about additional information in terms of automation when it comes to robots and driving. Uh, more money is invested in robotics as a result of the knowledge that automation can offer higher productivity compared with traditional manual labor. That's what I was just making in terms of the points. On the other hand, with increasing adoption of automation, the cost per robot continues to fall. The price of an industrial robot in 2021 is only 16% of the 1996 price. So this proves what I was saying about robots getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And as they get to be cheaper than hiring a human being, small and mid-sized companies, which so far have not automated very much at all, very little, will start to automate in waves. And what does that mean since we make AI human here? That means significant unemployment. Why? Because the vast majority of people here in the United States, I'm not as sure about other countries for my foreign viewers, but here in the US, the vast majority of people, roughly 80% are employed or self-employed in small and mid-sized businesses. So uh, it's the big, big companies that have been automating so far when this starts to hit mid-size and then small industries, that's when massive job disruption occurs. And based on the decrease in robot prices and ever more powerful AI, as we talked about in the very last video, you can see what's approaching. Click those links below, get that information. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, be here for the live next Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time here in the United States. That's 4 p.m. Eastern. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.